good to see you guys. Yeah. <sighs> How you doing? Doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in to NBG TV. I'm so glad that you guys are joining us. Um, I know for a lot of people, this is just starting to pop up in your notifications. Um, be sure to uh, share this stream if you would, because that really helps us out a lot. So just click that share button and go for it. We would love that. If you are just finding us out in internet land, we are Nobody's Girl. We are a songwriter trio from Austin, Texas. Three individual singer-songwriters, Betty Sue, Rebecca Lopey, that's me, Grace Pettis. And uh, we got together to start playing and writing songs together a few years ago. And uh, this is, I think we're going to play you now, one of the very first songs we ever wrote. I'll just vamp. I'm vamping. No Are you guys hearing a weird buzz from me? Or no? Yeah. yeah a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, let me just wait. Do you want me to stop vamping? No, you I can can't, vamp. Can't stop myself. I'll I'm a, a vamp finger, machine. A little finger disco to go with that. How's this? Grace is finger dancing. Got it. such a good idea but I'm pulling for it my friends wouldn't give us a green light but I'm gonna floor it when you call me after midnight I want you more than I should then you stop by trying to act like you were just in the neighborhood What'll I do? What'll I do? What'll I do about you? About you? What'll I do? What'll I do? What'll I do about you? About you? About you? You're gonna be. Are you ready to take center stage? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, so what cool things have happened to you this week? Go ahead and tell us in the chat. Um, we would love to hear about all of that. Um, as for myself, uh, I've been mostly like working at home this week, but something cool is that the weather has suddenly gotten just really beautiful here in the hill country in Texas. I don't know if that's the case for for you where you are 
Um, but uh, it's starting to feel like spring. It's starting to feel nice here. So that has been nice. Um, and yeah, I'm going to play y'all uh, the very first song that we wrote as a band. Um, I remember when we first got together to write this song, part of the idea came from being in the HEB, which is a local grocery store here in Texas. And it was like um, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And so there's all these men and women and everybody just, but a lot of like grown men carrying all these roses for for like the Virgin of Guadalupe. And it just kind of um, kind of got me thinking and then, we all were thinking and talking about this real historical figure who was uh, a Roma queen at the turn of the century in the South here. And um, just thinking about strong women like that and uh, sort of mother figures in our cultural thinking, I guess. The song is called Queen City. city 20 miles west of the line Meridian Mississippi where the beaten path unwinds Leave your gold your casseroles your bottles of sweet red wine Booze in hand your wedding band polished to Well, uh, I'm going to pass that to my applauding bandmate, Rebecca Lobey. I turned my own volume back on just so I could clap and say yay. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
Um, I'm gonna, that song, Queen City, like Grace said, is one of, is the actual, literal, very first song we ever wrote, and it is the title track of the album that it's on, which is called Waterline. Sorry. It is not the title track. My bandmates are behind stage cringing. It is not the title track. Um, this is the title track. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys, though, a little bit about where this song came from. We've played it so many times as a group, and it came from this idea that um, sometimes when you're really suffering, you don't notice that you're getting better until, you know, it's such a gradual process. It can take months or years, and then one day, a long time after the initial incident that caused you so much grief or pain, you'll look around and you'll realize that you don't hurt the way you did. You'll maybe hear a song that you had listened to a lot when you were really hurting and realize that song doesn't hurt you anymore. Or, you know, go to a place that you used to go to all the time with your ex and you realize you can be there without, you know, having horrible flashbacks or whatever it is. And for me, I, I've always thought of those um, as kind of water lines, like a water line on a buoy. You know, you don't notice that the tide is coming out or going in or going out, but you can look look up at the buoy or at the legs of the pier and see the line where the water had been a few hours before and that's how you know how much progress you've made. So that's where the song comes from. It is the title track of our EP, which you can find on our website, wearenobodiesgirl.com slash store. And that's also where you can throw a little love in the tip jar. And I recommend you do. One, two, three, four. Right here. That is how high we watched it rise. Right here. Here's the water line. Three coats. Still show right here. We watched it one drop at a time. No storm, no surge, no big warning sign. Ten years right here. By day, you'll never survive this. Ooh, washed away, away. Everything rises. This is not where I thought I'd be by now. This is nowhere. Passions moved out and run. Damage done. day never survive this Ooh, washed away away everything raises we start on the rafters a natural disaster the wreckage of happily ever after The crowd is really going wild tonight. Thank you guys so very much. Before I bring on our next performer, I will just reiterate a point. Oh, our giggling performer. I love that sound. Um, I will reiterate a point I made right before that song, which is that if you are having fun 
or even if you're not, you can head on over to wearenobodiesgirl.com slash store to find our online tip jar. And that's also where you can pre-order our next album, which is coming out this summer at long last. And uh, with no more, no further ado, I will welcome to the stage the one and only, the incomparable Ms. Betty Sue. Yeah. What up? What's up, everybody? Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mute myself again because you said you like to hear me giggling and I was still giggling. Um, that was so cool. I love hearing, uh, for those of you who've been following us for a while, you know that that's a song that I usually covered or I usually played um, in our live shows. And it's been so fun during this past year because uh, the three of us have worked up several songs that, um, you know, in different ways because we can't perform them the way that that we used to. And I just love hearing Grace and Rebecca sing that song. I think it's so super cool. Everybody has their own spin on it. And um, I, I don't know, I think it's really cool. This is our uh, latest single. And I know some of you thought yesterday that it would be our last ever single <laughs> because of my little April Fool's joke. But no, we are still a band and I did not walk away and... Heather, Heather um, Miller commented something about, glad to see Betty Sue made the show. That was very funny. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, this is our newest single, and it is written by one of our songwriting heroes. And if you haven't followed us on Spotify and heard our version yet, um, you will know exactly what I'm talking about right now. of anything that's new If I could only work this life out my way Well, I'd rather spend it being close to you But you're so far away Doesn't anybody stay in one place so fine to see your face at my door it doesn't help to know you're so far away yeah you're so far away traveling around sure gets me down and lonely Nothing else to do but close my mind I sure hope the road don't come to own me There's so many dreams I've yet to find But you're, you're so Anybody stay in one place anymore? It would be so fine to see your face at my door. 
It doesn't help to know you're so far. so far away Woo. Oh, Woo. thanks, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Ow. Let's bring the band back together. I had actually never got That was so impressive. Play. All those chords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad more. I don't have to play it on piano. Way harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the piano version on the record is really pretty. It's very lovely. I know. Thank you, Michael, for battling that. Yes, and Michael Ramos, Ramos plays the the uh, piano on that single, and he did such a beautiful job. Mm, so true. So true. Um, well, so far, all the songs we've played, except for obviously Carol King's Smash Hit, So Far Away, have been songs that we've <laughs> written together. And uh, this next one is another song from our upcoming album. Um, and it's a song that we wrote, we were just chatting about it before the show because our special guest asked if it had been written during lockdown and the answer was no, actually, since our record was supposed to come out a year ago, all of the songs for the album were written way before we knew how we would be spending 2020 <laughs> and 2021. But some of the themes on the album actually ended up being eerily appropriate. Like for example, so far away, we were all like putting the video together last month. So like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen anyone. Anyway, we went so far away. How did we know? <laughs> but also um, we wrote a song called Promised Land as we were sitting around Betty Sue's dining room table drinking coconut tea and thinking about our, our great country, our um, potentially sometimes great country, um, and just about the promise of, I think, what we all think of as the American dream, which is something unified, a unified group of people with lots of differences and conflicts and finding a way forward together. And um, that, I think, kind of sums up the, the spirit of that writing session. And um, we got as much of that into this song as we could. This is called Promised Land. I saw your face in the stars last night Shining down from a clear black sky Colorado turned out the light A thousand miles from California sand A thousand more to the Blue Ridge Mountains All in the cradle Staring at the great divide, staring at the great divide, staring at the great divide, looking at the left, looking to the right. Cardboard city full of government tents. Kids trying to sleep over subway vans Keeping watch over cold cement No vote in North Dakota with a native ID Georgia shot, Philly, Jersey, Kansas, Tennessee We're all waking up from the same lost dream And staring at the grave Divide, staring at the great divide, staring at the great divide, looking to the left, looking to the right. Is there a sign on your neighbor's lawn that makes you wonder how we went so wrong? Show me a side we can all get on. I 
built an eight foot flag with just his hands and a pile of rags. Sometimes all we need is what we singing together it's great um well guys i think it's that time again it's time for the question and answer portion of our yeah of our entertainment for the evening um i know you guys probably have lots of questions about us well, so Jim. many questions everyone is just so interested in our lives but um <laughs> you know we may answer them we, no you know what we'll answer them we'll answer all of them we may tell you the truth <laughs> um, we may not that, but it'll be entertaining, hopefully. Either way, so so, what questions do you have for us tonight? Well, do we have Jim, any so far, Jim asked, "Are we starting to book dates in anticipation of COVID winding down?" Great question, Jim. Anybody want to take that? <laughs> I think it's safe to say, I'll just talk, and if you sure. guys don't like what I'm saying, you can mute me. Um, <laughs> we have had some blocks on the calendar that's industry term for lines on the calendar for dates we want to play um for the fall for a long time our record comes out on july 30th and we have been all holding time august through december for certain regions in hopes that we can play those shows and we are starting to allow ourselves to consider that those might be possible mm -hmm. so we're putting out feelers we're thinking about it we're talking with our agents and our manager and we are hopeful and we are finding some venues that, you know, we're also just figuring out where venues are at. It's a whole different landscape, as Jim knows, than yeah. it yeah. was 15 months ago. So we're, we're, we're working on it. We're feeling it out. Um, I, I'm not trying to be coy. We just are still, it's a developing story. It's, it's such a brave new world. It feels like booking for the first time. It feels like you're 20 again because you're just like, it's a new landscape. Everybody's in their own situation. And, you know, hope is this really weird feeling. That um, I don't think any of us are, are used to yet. And uh, so <laughs> we're all like, things are, there's like signs of life, right? Like things are looking hopeful. It's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird feeling. Jerry asked about Promised Land. You wrote it before the summer of 2020. And he said, wow, you ladies have a good crystal ball, which thank you. Yeah, I know. It's, it's hard to remember <laughs> this because 2020 was just so bad. But I feel like the years before like right before 2020 were also pretty bad <laughs> and at the time we were all like this is real bad <laughs> okay then, Char sorry, my charlie asked an <laughs> an impossible question like charlie you know better than to ask this question because i cannot answer oh, it yeah. he said which is each of your individually favorite lines from galaxy quest you guys can go first. should i just recite the whole movie to you because sure. I can. <laughs> <Let's do that. laughs> All right. You want to go first? Um, is that your final answer, Betty Sue? I'm, I'll, I'll think of a couple. I mean, I have so many in my head that are battling it right now. Okay. I'm going to make a confession. As ba Betty Sue's bandmate, I might get kicked out of the band. I have not seen Galaxy no. Quest. But I did just Google what is my favorite line from Galaxy oh Quest. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. And the first thing that came up was, <laughs> you've got to admit, they really do love him. Yeah, almost as much as he loves himself. Oh yeah, I, that was a good, good one. That my, was, I just, probably my favorite The first one. thing that came up, Google told me it was my favorite. That I mean, that's a good one. It's a good one for sure. I'm probably going to butcher this. Like, I don't know it word for word like Betty Sue, but I do love Galaxy Quest because it's kind of the unofficial other Star Trek movie. But uh, my, my favorite line from Galaxy Quest is like Sigourney Weaver's line where she's like, Look, I have one stupid job on this computer. I know it's dumb, but I'm going to do it. 
because she has to repeat everything the computer says. It's, it's, That's it's good. I'm going to I'm going to say um, I literally had like a couple dozen lines immediately pop into my head and I'm going to whittle it down to two. OK, I know that's not what you asked for, but one is could you fashion a rudimentary lathe? <laughs> um, yeah, and and another one is did you guys ever watch this show? <laughs> or I like my another guy line is like, oh, where he's like, it's an alien planet. Is there air? Charlie you just posted know. that. <laughs> and then Tony Schlupe Google goes, had that one also. Seems okay. Seems, Seems okay. okay. It's like, you have a last name, guy. <laughs> you have Do, a, do I? I? Okay, sorry. We've let it take over the show. Sorry. <laughs> It's just too good of a question. It's, too yeah. difficult of a question, really. But. If we go into much more, we're going to get flagged by YouTube for copyright. <laughs> copyright. Like, right. Now you're just playing yeah. Galaxy Quest. Well, yeah. we probably need a change of scenery and maybe even personnel uh, to get this <laughs> topic moved on. Um, so I am going to invite our no our nobody's girlfriend for the month, Dominic Sakala. Hey there. Hey, hey Dominic. Hey. Nice to see you guys. Good to Welcome. see you. Man, that was great. You guys are just amazing. I was, I was thinking, man, I just need somebody to bring me a cocktail and, and I'll just sit here. I don't need to do anything. I'll just listen to you guys. You kind of broke the spell with the whole Galaxy Quest thing, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. We'll do that. We'll do that every Sacrum. time. Sacrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, count on us to ruin the vibe. Um, well, thanks for having me here. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, and you've got a new record out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Tell us and, about and, it. Well, um, epic years in the making, um, <laughs> which which is literally true. It, it's taken me almost four years. Um, it's a duets record. Um, I had invited a bunch of people, including the lovely Betty Sue, at various times when they were passing through to come in and uh, and sing, and they were gracious enough and, and trusting enough. I would like to thank you for that. Um, to lend their voices to the project. And um, I whittled it down, and when we were done, we had 13 tracks, but like nine of them were country songs by some weird, strange coincidence. And um, so I put out a country record, and um, so far it's getting just great reviews and beautiful things said about the musicians and the singers, and um, I couldn't be prouder, feel like a proud papa. So yeah, that's, that's, that's so the story. Great. Come on over the Honky Tonk Duets. That's very cool. Well, it's a beautiful record. We can't wait Thank to you. just. Thank you. We can't wait to hear him. So hear stuff from you. So we're just gonna leave the stage to you. All right. Well, I'll I'll, I'll try to follow that act. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, huh, man, that that is a tough act to follow. So I'm uh, I'm actually up in my um my man cave, which is at the top of the house, and um, I realize that there's some things going on back here that um. It's, it's cluttered, it's cluttered, but. So, um, a few years ago I wrote this song. I, I, I spoke at length with my manager who said, play the stuff you know, play the older stuff, Be, play it safe because this is nobody's girl show and you don't wanna like screw up. And I said, no man, I'm gonna do my thing. And um, I don't have a manager. Um, anyway. About three years ago, I was sitting around on Mother's Day, and it kind of dawned on me that um, it's not the happy occasion for everybody. And um, and I literally, I, I went into the bathroom because the sound and, and singers, I think I'm not the only person who feels like that because I kind of started writing the song and I hit on this idea and I went into the bathroom to kind of hear it with a little bit of atmosphere. And it was just about the other side of Mother's Day. And uh, it's called One Horse Town, Mother's Day. She was born in a shack with a dirt floor Born to a mother that was dirt poor Barely made it through the Fifth grade, she sold bottles for the penny she made. Clothes she wore pulled at the seams. It wasn't enough for no high fashion. 
flashing dreams Waiting round for her day to arrive Until then it was just do your best to survive Cause you never know until the cards are down How far you'll go from a one horse town only know that there ain't no sin, no Lord above, no kind of love can bring you back again. 10 a.m. ticket on that trailways bus, so much braver than the rest of us. Anywhere would be a better life than Carolina as a backwoods wife Small apartment A few pots and pans Government job A retirement plan Bastard child There at her feet Legacy She swore She'd never Repeat But you never know until the cards are down How far you'll go from a one-horse town Only know that there ain't no sin, no Lord above No kind of love can bring you back again Best laid plans of men and mice Turn out to be just a roll of the dice How the years have gone so fast Now another Mother's Day has passed Small apartments, some old pots and pans A few worn photos and her trembling hands her head and head back to tears night after night year after year all right that's mother's day um one horse town oh let's see here so you know again i thought i would play it not safe and this is a song i wrote about three weeks ago maybe four weeks ago now and um, it's, uh, I was trying, I always, I'm kind of fascinated by the spaces in between. And so I was trying to find um, or was inspired to write about that time in a relationship when you know it's not working, you know it's got to dissolve, you know you got to go. It can turn ugly or it could stay not ugly. And, and so I kind of was um, thinking about that when I wrote this song about kind of that time in between when you want to gently let it fade away. Started writing songs again You're the reason why Only way I know to cope with Saying goodbye and If I was a betting man I would lay it all on the odds that you and I could not survive the fall If you'll be good to me I'll be good to you We can make believe that our dreams came true I'll be good to you, you'll be good to me, 
we can both be free from these bitter blues One foot in feet out turn and take a bow I think I've learned a thing or two it's about damn time I hope you find your way and I hope that I'll find If you're ever looking back on these days, maybe smile bittersweet when you remember my face. If you'll be good to me, I'll be good to you. We can make believe that our dreams came true and I'll be good to you you be good to me we can both be free from these little blues we can both be free from these little blues All right, that's called Bitter Blues, and uh, both those songs may make it on the next solo project. Who knows? We'll see how they do. Um, but yeah, I want to thank the Nobody's Girls. Girls, how do you do that? How come it's not a plural? <laughs> thank you guys for having me. I, was like, that's, I, I felt really tight. I, you know, it's was like, ah. Pressure, pressure, you guys. <laughs> pressure. You did great. <laughs> Yeah, it was so fun. Thanks for oh, thanks. thanks for thanks. joining us for the show. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I, I really have enjoyed it. Thank you, guys. It was fun chatting with you as well. It's nice to be here. Yeah, thanks you for too. Out. It's and nice and to hopefully, we'll see each other soon. Soon, pandemic yeah. aside, we'll we'll cross paths. Yes, absolutely. Thanks again. Thank you. We'll Thank see you, you soon, guys. Dominic. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. <sighs> <sighs> Contented size. That was so Contented nice. Contented size. That was really cool. You know what would be really nice what? is if if we got to hear the sounds of harmony again. Uh, yeah, but how would that happen? Well, you know, as you guys know, it's very difficult. We can't sing at the same time due to lag and internet craziness and gremlins <laughs> and the technology. But you know, we might have come up with a magical way. For just for one song, one brand new Nobody's Girl song that's going to be on our brand new Nobody's Girl album, um, you can hear what we sound like when we sing together in person. <laughs> together. <laughs> and we can hear that too. It's going to be great. I totally nailed this introduction. And now... <laughs> 10 out of 10. We're going to watch this great. Keep this going, Grace. 10.0. And, yeah. and the Woo! video is called... 9.7. Lark. <laughs> First you learn to breathe Nobody has to teach you Then you learn Nobody can reach you Where you run into Time you need to climb Or is it just a custom
Did you leave your nest? Did you wing off without warning? Where you running to? Where you running to? Run wild, run free, run to where. younger us <laughs> months younger <laughs> we were just so cute uh, little babes in the woods mm. oh well that was fun it, it does seem like a while ago you know yeah really. what is time <laughs> yeah, it's I an know. illusion is what it is cool i feel like um, every month of of this last year has felt like a year is that yeah <laughs> No. I think I'm just not used to sitting still. I'm not used to like observing sunrise and sunset <laughs> and the, you know, passing of time and the changing of seasons. It's all been it's been an interesting experience. <laughs> yeah. I'm I not, feel like I'm, it's I'm, go, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Welcome it goes in band, both everybody. directions. Like on on the one hand, the whole year has felt like a week and 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 like in on the other hand, like every month felt like a year. Like it was like you know, it's it's very bizarre, but I do know that my skin has aged a year, so and <laughs> well, so has my waistline. <laughs> I was gonna say I I just was not ready to spend this much time with myself, <laughs> like you know, in my own head, hearing all the thoughts in there, like because most of the time, you know, you interact with other people and you can kind of distract yourself from your inner dialogue. But um, yeah, not totally. not this past year, and as you could tell, I'm super great at interacting with humans I <laughs> all those skills are honed and ready for prime time <laughs> so just me I don't know does anyone else feel that way <laughs> I think you're just doing great thanks doing thanks great. buddy I appreciate that um oh. well I guess I'm gonna do a song that um it's time it's time it's time that... I'm getting out of here goodbye <laughs> goodbye that just it struck me recently that um, we wrote this right at the beginning of us being a trio and we never really played it out and um, I will confess that that had a lot to do with me um, for some reason I, I had some hang-ups and but I just listened to it again recently and it felt so timely and so I I hope it feels that way to you too <laughs> I heard that siren crying like I woke up to a war Like I should hit the floor, slam the cellar door Instead I'm 
and driving, trying to make it five miles more, riding out, riding out the storm. Someone say to me, I'm worth saving. It's all I'm waiting for. Exist exits that I missed, rings I had to kiss didn't stop me, cost me all I had and more. Riding out, riding out the storm. Someone say to me, I'm worth saving. It's all I'm waiting for. That's all I'm waiting for. It's all I'm waiting for. All I'm waiting for. It's all I'm waiting for. Riding out the storm. You can. You can find that on our first EP, on our original release, Waterline, um, which you can find in all the places that you find music. Okay, I'm going to pass it over to Rebecca. Hello, hello, guys. Oh, what a treat to hear Betty Sue sing that song. Huh, wow. I'm just double checking that I'm not still muted, even though I don't think I am. I feel like for years after this era of time is over, I'll like have stress dreams that I'm performing, but like the mute button's on or something. Um, gosh, that was really beautiful. And it reminds me so much of the mindset we were in when we were writing it and thinking about just that constant push of like getting to the next town, playing the next show, like trying to be as tough as, as we could possibly be and how we've been doing sort of the exact diametric opposite yet equally weighted version of that, you know, at home for a year pushing as hard as we can from home, trying to do the best work we can possibly do in one place. Um, and yeah, no, that gave me a lot of feeling. Uh, thank you for playing it, Betty Sue. And thanks to all of you guys for being here. Thank you to those of you who have thrown some money in the tip jar down at nobodiesgirl.com slash store. Um, I'm looking at that. Wearenobodiesgirl.com. Yeah, wearenobodiesgirl.com slash store um is down there at the bottom of this and thank you guys so much uh for finding our shop and that's where you can find our album and pre-release uh pre-order our newest record and also get bundles of our music if you want to get cds from each of us but for tonight you can also if this feels like a show that out in the real world you might pay for you have the opportunity to pay for it tonight and that's kind of the crazy thing about this um that's the crazy thing about this format is that um, about this world right now is that music is free, basically. Music is out there in the world. You can just like reach out there and grab it. It's flying through the air all the time, on the airwaves, through the radio, through the, through the internet. And it's not free to, to create music, but it's free to listen to it. And that means that music right now is being paid for by the people who choose to show up for it. And that's you guys. So we really just enormously appreciate your support. Because honestly, your support is what makes it possible to do what it is we feel artistically compelled to do. Which kind of brings me to this next song. Because, you know, this is a pop song we wrote about rage. And you don't get to do that kind of thing. If, and play songs like that in public if you don't have the support of a loving audience and we know you, that you guys have our back so thank you very much
Alarm clock's ringing and it's off to the races Gotta make a decent breakfast, gotta find a parking space And now the boss is in here early, gotta look him in the eye Make it all look easy, never let him see me try For once in my life I wanna have too much to drink For once in my life I wanna tell him what I think Tongue between my teeth, taste of iron in my mouth Iron in my mouth, can't let it out Never met my neighbors and I've been here seven years If I died tonight, would anybody care? Wonder if my ex would answer, I don't wanna be alone I could blow my life up just by picking up the phone For once in my life, I wanna cut and run For once in my life, I wanna have a little fun If nobody can see me, then no one's gonna know No one's gonna know, no one's gonna know I've got a tiger by the toe Even if he hollers, whoa my pleasure to pass the stage, the microphone, the whole kitten caboodle on to the wonderful Miss Grace Pettis. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Um yeah, you guys like just hearing both of those songs, um I don't know. Especially, you know, hearing hearing Tiger after hearing um writing out the storm and hearing Buddy Sue sing that, it would really um it actually really affected me. <laughs> Um, I know it's like a song that I helped write, but I haven't heard it in a really long time because we didn't end up putting it, we just didn't end up playing it out that often. You know, we had written it, we recorded it, we loved it, but it just didn't really make it into the live set. So, um, it's been a long time since I've heard it. And if you've heard the EP, you've heard Betty Sue sing it. Um, but it's different hearing her sing it live and it's different hearing her sing it now on the other side of what we've all <laughs> been through um but I remember when we were on the previous side of all that and uh, we were writing that song we were talking about how you know as as three songwriters who had been on the road for like years and years and years we were talking about you know in my mind I just think about driving in the middle of a storm in the middle of the night just white knuckled trying to get that last you know hour of your eight hour drive you know and the rain is coming down and it's just sheets and you're just trying to get to like that host housing where you're trying to stay um and just that feeling of just being in survivor mode and just just your your stress level just being at 10 all the time um just the flooding of of like stress hormones and stuff 
And uh, I think we've all we've all been we've all been driving through that rainstorm in 2020, but it's been raining harder on some of us than others. And um, so that's what I heard and thought about when I heard Betty Sue sing that song. And um, it just really it affected me, I think, depending on your situation, you know, your health situation, the color of your skin, like how much money's in your pocket, you know, it may have been raining a little harder on you. And um, so, yeah, it just feels like a good, a good song for right now. And, and we're all going to get through this storm, you know, we're, we're almost there. We can, we can kind of see the other side. So, um, yeah, anyway, but I love writing with Becca and, and Betty Sue. I know I'm talking a lot, but I like it because we all nerd out on songwriting stuff. And we have equal levels of nerdiness about it. So if somebody's like, what if we tried this? And the other two are like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, I, I like that. You know, we're always down for, for the adventure. This next song is one we wrote at my mom's house in Ireland. And we were, we were like, what if, you know, what if we wrote a song and we just, instead of saying what was happening, we just set the scene, you know, we just set the scene like it was a, like it was a stage. We just put the things on the stage and arranged the scene and then you kind of know the story so that was that was the attempt for this song um, and i'm really proud of like how it turned out it's cool on the record wait till you hear it dark skin to skin still so far do you even see me anymore the morning after the nightfall
so good. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Well, where are we now? I have totally lost my way. <laughs> I think I think Betty Sue, you can help me find it again. I think we're gonna get the band back together. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you were as lost in your performance of the song as the rest of us. Oh. As everybody else tuning in. That was a nice way of putting it. <laughs> oh. Maybe that was supposed to be just me, but I just wanted us to say like I just want to say you guys I'm really enjoying it I know we're we all have a lot going on right now I know everybody's like I, I think the three of us have talked about how some people during the pandemic have been like I got nothing to do and other people are like I have 20 times as much to do <laughs> and um I think the latter has been a little bit how we have all felt but yeah. despite our feeling tired and I mean not necessarily like we're too tired to do this show guys why are you watching us no <laughs> like just like as much as we have on our plates like I just want to say like I know we only do this once a month together but I just really enjoy doing it and I appreciate you guys and I'm so grateful that we get to do this yeah, I love that. I agree. um so Rebecca had a great idea that we should all cover a song by someone we know by a friend and um I loved that idea. Grace and I were like, yeah, let's do it. So um, we said it just like that. That's how it yeah, went in our meeting. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll kick off this round. Um, this is a song that my pal Peter Case wrote. Um, and it was out on, on his album from like 98, I believe. And um, Full Service No Waiting. And I, I love that record so much. And I, I love his songs. He's got a great new blues record out that's got all these cool outer space kind of sounds on it. And it's just, it's it's fantastic. So if you're a Peter Case fan and you don't have the new record yet, I strongly suggest you get it and support him. But, um, but I had always wanted to learn this song. And I finally just sat down a couple weeks ago and spent a million hours on the guitar until I could play it and um, I've put it up on Patreon but maybe one day I'll record a more than a demo and, and release it we'll see times have I washed my face, combed my hair, left this place, felt the shiver in my chest when I hit the door, the promise of something you're worth living for. Had a fight with a woman who had my kids, can't get along with anyone, what if I did? I'm going back to the corner where we used to meet, when our dreams were young and the nights were sweet. I'm going out tonight, going way downtown, where my friends who died still hang around. See what's shaking as the leaves turn brown A season's been and gone And another one's coming on And I'm on my way downtown Well, it was 30 years ago the setting sun I was walking down Union Street started to run down into a cellar where the music screamed I guess it hit me harder than it ever dreamed in the palace theater hall later on that night there were miracles in store but not a soul inside payphone ringing didn't seem so strange anything could happen anything could change I'm going out tonight way downtown where my friends who died still hang around See that moonlight spinning on the ground, a season spinning gone. We used to gather here, flirt and laugh. Now all my dreams are cut in half. Now the girls are smoking cigarettes and chewing gum. I just get scared when they see me come. 
way downtown, the corners moved, the sandstone slabs are worn and grooved. Turning black in the first drops of rain, you can smell the earth and sky again. I'll get it. Hear the rattle of the leaves and the locust call Underneath the elm by the schoolyard wall Summer's over and the fields are tall The season's been and gone And another one's coming on I'm on my way downtown Oh, I used to uh, be so lucky and watch Peter play that every night um, when I used to open for him up and down the West Coast and um, I'm so glad that I mostly have it under my fingers now, but I am so excited because I don't know what songs Grace or Rebecca are doing and they always wow me in the covers round. So I'm going to pass it over to Grace, oh, no, to Rebecca. <laughs> I'm going to put my headphones on just so I can hear a little bit of what's happening around here. All right, my lovelies, this is a song that was written by my good friends. I think Doug Williams wrote this. He performs it with his incredibly talented wife, Delisha, in the duo Wild Ponies. Mm -hmm. I first heard them sing this in a campfire at Carrie Elkin and Danny Schmidt's wedding. Doug had just written it, and their harmonies were beautiful, and Danny and Carrie wanted to have an in the round at the wedding to show their, it was on. The, it was at the rehearsal dinner night where they invited the entire wedding, and like all 200 people who were at the wedding came to the rehearsal dinner, and we I think had fire oven pizza. And they really wanted to show their families from out of town what their musical community was like. It was the sweetest night. Everyone wore hats to honor the fact that Danny wears a hat all the time. So Danny wasn't the only one in a hat. So everyone was wearing hats. And they asked all of their friends to form a little uh, song circle around a campfire out back. And we all played our closest approximation of a love song or a song about love. And this is what I don't even remember what I played, but Doug and Talisha played this, and uh, it took me several minutes to get my jaw off of the floor. I just absolutely love this tune, and I think it's a really important song, and I love it when my friends write important songs. I know love is not a sin. I know love is not a sin. From the time that I was put here Till he calls me home again I know love is not a sin I know it makes the world go round I know it makes the world go round It's a hand that helps you stand up when you're knocked down to the ground, that's what makes the world go round. I know love, it doesn't see. I know love, it doesn't see. Doesn't see the things that makes you any different from me. I know love, it doesn't see It doesn't matter who you love It doesn't matter who you love When 
two lovers find each other, I'd say it's sanctioned from above. Doesn't matter who you love. I know love is not a sin. I know love is not a sin. From the time that I was put here, Till he calls me home again I know love is not a sin From the time that I was put here Till he calls me home again I know love is not a sin I absolutely love having a chance to sing that song. That is by Doug and Delicia Williams, also known as Wild Ponies. Sorry, delayed reaction. (laughs) (laughs) Well, and I want to welcome the wonderful Ms. Grace Pettis to the stage to sing her cover song. (laughs) Sorry, it took me a second to hit that unmute button there. (laughs) That was so good. I demand my applause immediately. (laughs) I'm going to stay on it. Applause on demand. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um... Well, I wasn't going to do this one, but I don't know. It's just something about tonight makes me want to try it. Uh, That's what she so- said. <laughs> I'm so distracted. I need every brain cell right now. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try this song. Um, uh, I have a new songwriter friend who is somebody whose songs I really loved. And then... Uh, recently, I, I've gotten to get to be friends with this person, which is very cool. And his name is David Ramirez. And um, I think he's one of the best songwriters out there. Um, and this might be my favorite of his songs. I don't know. I have a lot. But uh, I don't know. It just feels feels right. So I'm going to try it. This is called Twins.
a powerful song. Yeah. <laughs> mm, so good. I love how simple it is, you know? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, the theme of dreams, broken dreams, rest restoration of dreams throughout this whole show. It's been interesting. Mm. Oh, Rebecca, you're <laughs> muted. Oh, I'm muted. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait. I wanted to say you're a, back. Ooh, am I back? <laughs> yeah. Am I here? Can you hear me? Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> cool, cool. Great, great, great. Cool. So you can't be in our band unless you learn to say the word cool. Dusty. Cool. 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 That's why we get to be in the band. We've had a lot of practice. That was the audition. Cool. You're hired. Cool. Cool. <laughs> That was in unison for me. I don't know because of the lag, but for me it was like in stereos. <laughs> well, I'm thoroughly amused. Cool. Yeah, Thomas cool, cool. even knows how to spell it. Cool. Exactly. <laughs> cool. Exactly. He can come on the road. We've got two more seats in the minivan. <laughs> And I do want to say, we've, we're broadcasting this to, like, a bunch of different channels. So if you're worried that there's only, like, ten people watching, don't worry. There's many more. They're just all scattered across all of our channels. So. <laughs> and we're seeing all of your comments. All of them. Yeah. I love it. Oh, gosh. Well, it's been really fun hanging out with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know that... Um, you have lots of options for how you spend your Friday night. There are lots of airlines you could be flying tonight. Thank you for flying ours. Um, we know that you have the internet at your house, as evidenced by the fact that you're watching this show, and therefore you could be watching literally anything else. That's true. And uh, that really means a lot to us that you chose to spend your time um, hanging out with us, our goofy asses. Um, this has been really fun. Huge thanks to David Holiday over at Stone Room Concerts in Falls Church, Virginia. Um, we love playing for, for David in person. Um, oh, yes. Big thanks to Stone Big Concerts. thanks. Yes. yes. He's such a dedicated, <laughs> committed supporter of live music and of independent songwriters that mm -hmm. even through a pandemic, when we asked if he'd be interested in co-hosting a show virtually, he just immediately jumped on board. So humongous thanks. Um, we appreciate you so, so, so very much. I see a note from Abby, and I'm wondering if that note is for me, Abby, in the private chat will you let me know <laughs> babe um or if it's to one of my other lovely co-hosts um and i think that uh yeah we just want to thank everybody who's tuned in okay maybe that's a little better huge thanks to everybody who's tuned in thanks to david from stone room thank you to you guys thank you to those of you who have um contributed into our online tip jar which i learned something new tonight i learned that the url changed I learned it in real time in front of all of you last time I was talking about the tip jar because I was saying nobody's girl, we are nobody's girl.com slash store, but the words in front of me said slash music store. And I was like, is that a mistake or am I making a mistake? And the answer was both or neither or me. I was the problem. Um, the <laughs> website is we are nobody's girl.com slash music store. Duh. So if you have a minute, uh, hop on over there. And um, yeah, if you if you feel like this is a kind of show that you would buy a ticket for, or perhaps if you walked past us, if you would throw a few dollars in the tip jar, take a few dollars out of your wallet, throw your wallet in the tip jar. Um, those things are all <laughs> options virtually over at Say It With Me Now. We are nobody's girl .com slash music store. Yay. <laughs> all right, cool. So we are gonna play one more song for you. It is another one off of our brand new album that's not out yet. That's coming out in July. And uh, you can also pre-order it at the Slash Music Store if you want to. Our new self-titled record. All Who right. starts this one? I do. All I know is it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really having fun. Do we have to stop at some point? That's really a shame.
this anymore Nothing's the same as it was before It's such a long way gone Can't click your heels and go home again Baby, and one thing's for sure You ain't in Kansas anymore Courage and heart, heart and mind And all of the truth inside of you You needed to find You ain't in Kansas anymore Nothing's the same as it was before You're such a long way gone can't click your heels and go home you ain't in Kansas anymore nothing's the same as it was before you're such a long way gone can't click your Real quick, pitch round. Grace Pettis, where can people find you in the upcoming oh month? Oh, my God. Um, I, well, I think the next thing that I have is on the uh, uh, 14th of April, which is my father's birthday, Pierce Ooh. Pettis. Oh. It's his birthday, and to celebrate his birthday, I am hosting a, a virtual show featuring both of us on my Patreon page, um, which you can also get a ticket to to watch for five dollars if you're not a patron um and it's gonna be i think he wants to call it uh give pierce a chance so, <laughs> so and that's where you get your where puns get my from pun. oh my god <laughs> i love the puns from amazing. This is, i learned from the best dad oh my gosh dad i would wear that shirt yeah. actually if he had a pierce pettis shirt give, pierce a, give pierce a chance i really yeah. think he should make a shirt that says that. yeah Maybe we should make one shirt. for him we, like we make a prototype we should make that meeting oh, i'm gonna make one for the show yes birthday present it. like one of those like yeah a spreadshirt ones yes yeah. speaking of it. spreadshirt we have a spreadshirt store at our website just saying this is true yeah it's right there Oh, yeah, lots of really slash fun merch. music store. No, not the spreadsheet store. But that's <laughs> oh, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> okay, it's fine. This is going great. Um, okay, pitch music. round. Back to, focus up. Focus up. Pitch round. Um, the next place you can find me is April 11th. I am playing a show on my um, Patreon page. I used to do them on the last Sunday of the month, but this month I am switching to the second Sunday of the month because last Sunday was getting kind of crowded. So second Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Not Sock Hop. Second Sunday Sing Along, we'll call it. Um, I'll be playing for patrons. Also, speaking of Patreon, squeezing in a second thing really quick, please forgive me. If you know anyone who wants to start a Patreon page or if you're thinking about starting a Patreon page, I am leading a workshop for Patreon all about how to launch a Patreon page. And that is on April 8th at noon central. And uh, it's on the Patreon website. So you can find that. Um, I linked to it recently on my Facebook page if you want to sign up for that. You want yeah. to go. You want, you want to go to <laughs> that. there. You she's, she's, want to go to that. She's so good at Patreon. She's been featured on the cover of Patreon, like on their website, like several times about how awesome she is They're at Patreon. They're good to me. They're so very good should, to me. You yeah. should listen to this woman. Patreon magazine. She's, she's the cover <laughs> girl. Magazine. Cover she's Patreon magazine. She's the girl of Patreon. I'm on every page because I made the magazine because there is no magazine. I mean, um, I will say it. It, and it's I wouldn't say like oh she's just so good at but like you're so thoughtful about how you do it just like oh, you are with you. everything that you do you do things with so much intention and care for the people that you are sharing your art with and um, I think that really comes through I think people feel mm -hmm. so care like your audience always feels very cared for by you whereas That's my good. audience feels slapped around <laughs> and um, and you guys you learn your place okay. <laughs> I, got I don't the really mic. know how my audience feels. I guess confused. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, we all want to care, but Rebecca is so, is so good at that, and and so we funny. all just take our cues from her. Um, 
I do want to thank Dominic. Uh, yeah, are you still around, Dominic? Round. You want to show you? Oh, right. It's okay, right, just hold on, you? Dominic. Just hold on one second. I don't thank you yet. Easy okay? there. Don't get your hopes Pitch, up. Please. I don't thank you. Okay, I do a show <laughs> called Nobody's Happy Hour every Tuesday, and we spin this very fun wheel, and it tells us what to do. Both of these gals have been on my show, and uh, this week, Amy Speaks is going to be my guest. And, I mean, I just have, like, Yay. pretty amazing guests every Tuesday, I'm going to say. You really so. do. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, Amy Speaks is going to be the guest, and she will have to face the wheel and do the things. So tune in for that. Uh, you can, actually, I was about to say you can find the link on my website, but I'm not 100% confident that I put it on there, but I think it's She set an alarm for Tuesday at 6. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give you okay. enough time to find the link. The wheel is fun, by the way. The wheel is weird. The wheel is full of all kinds of prompts, like make a song up on the spot or play a cover song you've never heard before. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one. Audience it's request so covers that we don't know. That yeah. one's really fun. It's fun yeah. for you. It's it's terrifying for us, but you know, it's entertaining for you. It's That's just a I really mean. dynamic show. It's really fun. It changes every single time. It's like a nice – I thought it was like a – it was sort of like a breath mint. You know what I mean? I just like played that show and felt very fresh. Like, oh, I've never done any of this before and I'm still having a good time. Okay. Highly it. recommend it. Every okay. Tuesday at 630. Don't miss it. Don't mm. miss it. Well, now – now, now that it's not premature, <laughs> I want to thank again our guest, our Nobody's Girlfriend for April, Dominic Sakala. Mm. Thank you for joining us on the show. Thanks for sticking around. Thank he watched the show, guys. I had crazy. a blast. I had an absolute <laughs> blast. It was great. You know. Make sure you check out his Country Duets record that is out please, right now. Please, um, please. You can find DominicSakala.com, as the banner says. And uh, we just no, no music store us. attached, just straight. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was fun. Well, that um, was fun. we are going to do one last song for you, and it has become one of our favorite ones to do together. Um, we, I think we first sang this song together, was it in New Jersey? Maybe Massachusetts. Maybe it was Massachusetts. It was in a house concert. I remember our our primping area was upstairs in a loft. Mm -hmm. That was in, in Patchogue, somebody's... Long Island, New York. Oh, in Long Island. Okay. All I remember was north of Mason Dixon. <laughs> it's all the same. And <laughs> Stein's <laughs> house. Land. Just kidding. And we took over that loft. We did. And we did. There's makeup everywhere. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of estrogen up there. Um, but we, but we just like had so much fun and I remember like sitting on a staircase with you guys and coming up with these harmonies and we just felt like oh this is magical and we were so glad that um the Hansons re requested it because isn't that right am I remembering that wrong Dean and Mona Thornhill but oh, I know what you're Dean talking and about. Mona of course yes. of course it was of course it was another of course fantastic was. epic Massachusetts couple <laughs> music super supporters I'm sorry that I misspoke no no um but yeah, I would have just let you say it was the Hansons but they're here so <laughs> But of course it was the They're going to love it and, too. And, and we, we were so glad because I think each of us have sung this song before, but it felt really special to sing it together. So mm -hmm. we hope you enjoy it. Some. Someday I'll wish upon a star 
and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops way above the chimney tops that's where you Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly, birds fly over the rainbow, why, then oh why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Thanks so much. Uh, for listening. Thanks for tuning in tonight and for sharing the show. I know a lot of you did. Um, I also want to give a big thank you to Abby, who is running our tech behind the scenes. You haven't seen her, but she has been a star, and we're so grateful for her help. She does all of these shows for Passim, and we're so lucky to have you on our team tonight, Abby. All right. Good night, guys. Thank